But I think one of the things that stood out to most me in Johannesburg is kind of how hard the city is. You know, like you go to New York and you see the culture, but you see like they really have been, not overproduced, but kind of been used by like colonization. So I really could stand out in Johannesburg and I was like, the people trying to come bring it back together to themselves. And then in Cape Town, you really got a sense of like community and like their partnership to South Africa and kind of being like the motherland. In Johannesburg, it was kind of an old mining town, so it wasn't as exciting and lively, but in Cape Town, there was a lot of young people. I like to surf, so they had a good surf culture there, and they were also very inviting to tourists and people uh, not from South Africa. What has promoted the town's growth is mining, and there's so much mining there that it's brought in so much money, and it's different to the people there, the interactions, the driving is, it's quick moving, everything is quick, and it's different than living, I guess, especially in the south where everything's a little bit slower and smaller. The cuisine in South Africa is quite different than America. We're all about, like, you know, vegetables and going vegan, but they're much more a red meat-based diet, which I enjoy. I really like red meat. And I also really got into curries, because they have a big Indian population that's moved into South Africa. So to see their rendition of curry for South Africa was really nice. They do eat a lot of meat and a lot of different meats that I wasn't used to, like oxtail and um, ostrich were two things that I had never had before, and they served it pretty much everywhere there. You can't eat vegetables from there because they're grown with their water, which you're not allowed to drink their water. You always have to drink bottled water while you're there. Jerky everywhere, like everything jerky. And you could just pick 15 different animals that you didn't even know what they were. You had to Google what the animal looked like. The diet was strictly meat or rice, but most vegetables, green vegetables, were completely out of any meal that we ate. And then uh, most of the animals that we saw in the national parks were like, uh, we got to see lions, elephants, antelopes, uh, some hippos, some crocodiles, you know, you name it, we saw it. And uh, we got to see them up close, probably uh, five feet from the elephants and things like that. So that was a uh, pretty jaw dropping. We basically lived in lodges in a safari and every day we would just wake up and from morning to night you saw lions, cheetahs, giraffes, elephants, so many elephants. We had elephants that were so close, they were brushing up against our car and their eye was looking in the window and all of that experience is just so surreal. It's so much different than anything I've ever experienced. 